day, everybody. Bart Wells, High Tech Motorsport, back behind the parts counter again, doing my thing, bringing some more information to you guys out there in the world. This is myths, legends, and lies. All the stuff that comes up 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, all about a very simple piece of equipment called an internal combustion engine that's been dinged around, screwed with. And they had a great idea right at the point where the first two guys who had them got together and figured out one guy was faster than the other one and it's never been the same since. I bought a 600 horsepower small block Chevy off of eBay for 1400 bucks. You thinking you're gonna get that kind of a build up with something that's gonna live for 1400 bucks? Got the bridge in Brooklyn thing. It's, it doesn't happen that way. Get a build sheet, get something, make sure it's for that, that thing. I, it just, I can't tell you the number of times we've had stuff here put on the dyno making 600 horse that makes 210. I've got a three quarter race cam. Okay, so that's like three fourths really fast and one fourth not fast. I've ordered hundreds of cams here, almost all of them custom. And not one of them did I call up to comp cams or grinder or to crane and go, hey, I need a three quarter race cam. That's the dumbest term ever. Some guy says that, avoid him, he's an idiot. My car makes big power at 9,000 RPM. Unless you've got a Formula One race car and you're like Nicky Lauda, no it doesn't. At 9,000 RPM, the rods are probably ready to come out. Things making probably one half the horsepower it was at 8,000 RPM and that's if it works at all. I don't have enough back pressure. Exhaust, we're trying to get rid of it. After the end of long tube headers, that's why racers all, if you watch things on drag racing and at NASCAR and every other level, Right after the header, they open it up and let the exhaust get the hell out of the way. I put race gas in it and it picked up 50 horsepower. Show me the dyno sheets. 50 horsepower with race gas in it? What, your car came from the factory and it says right on the sticker on the window, power steering, power brakes, and oh, by the way, add 50 horsepower by putting in race gas. No, it doesn't work that way. Low compression engines, medium compression engines, not gonna get anything from race gas or any kind of other changes. Flame travel is actually a little slower with race gas, and guys can actually lose power by putting race gas in a streetcar application. The guy I bought it from said it makes 600 horsepower. Look, until some guy has a dyno sheet or you actually have it made up that way, don't believe everything you hear. They're into the sell you on stuff. Just make sure it's correct before you buy it and put your hard earned money someplace. It makes a knocking sound, but all it needs is a tune. If it's making a knocking sound, what it probably really needs is a set of rods and rod bearings and some other issues too a tune-up isn't gonna help it. We've had 3,500 cars on our chassis dyno since 2003. And every once in a while, I get somebody that comes up, we run their car up, usually the guy that bought the 600 horsepower off a small block, you know, small block Chevy, and he looks at me and the thing makes 210 at the wheels. You know what his comment is? Your dyno's broke. Really? The other 3,499 cars were perfect and your car's gonna be screwed up. Realistically, it's your engine. It doesn't make any power. You got screwed. Anyway, anything else for today? I don't think so. You guys just give me a call. Let me know what's going on. I'm here six days a week. I'm a car guy.